Okay, seniors, as promised, I am uh, recording this video so that I can correct something wrong that I said. Please make sure that you watch this video and the one o'clock Bible study video. Whenever you share this, the one o'clock Bible study, please also share this video as well. We don't want to send out wrong information. I was talking so quickly and some things just were not coming to my mind. And so um, I was teaching from Psalm 57 and I exegeted verse one, Psalm 57 and one, when David was in the cave running from Saul. But I also was teaching Psalm 59 verses two through 17 when, when Saul sent men to David's house. And so it's the same David, it's the same Saul, the same enemies. It was two different locations, two different times, but it was the same situation going on. And so please know when you're reading and when you listen to Bible study, read Psalm 57 in its entirety and Psalm 59 in its entirety. So you get the full gamut, the full scope of what I was communicating through the Bible study, Psalm 57 and 59. I read verse 57, verse one, and I also read Psalm 59, verses two through 17. Both are Psalms giving God praise, even though the situation was or, or, um, in a disoriented situation, although it was an unfavorable situation, David was still giving God praise. And so that was the whole uh, idea of both of those Psalms, combining those both Psalms. But also I was making reference to the Lord saying that he was going to send an angel to the land, but he was not going to go because his people were rebellious. And I said Abraham, but I was trying to think, I knew it wasn't Abraham. Uh, it was Moses, when the, uh, the man, uh, 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 who, who God told Moses, I'm going to lead the people. I'm going to send my angel to go before you to go with you, but I'm not going to go because the people are rebellious and, and I'm not just going to let my presence go. And Moses said, if you don't go with us, we don't want to go. And so it's so vitally important for us to understand that God's presence should mean more to us than God's possessions more than people, more than paper, more than prestige and power and other, uh, uh, um, uh, imperfect stuff. We need God's presence. And that's what Moses was saying. Uh, he wanted God's presence and not just a representative, not just an angel. He wanted God himself. And so then I also said, I was, I think I was talking about the splendor of God, the grandeur of God, and that we should worship God because of uh, what he has created, who he is, what he has done. And I was trying to give you the elements of the components of oxygen. And it just would not come to mind, but uh, I looked at some notes that I've studied this some years ago, many, many years ago. And so what I was trying to say was God had, God perfectly combined 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and 1% argon, carbon dioxide and water so that we can have oxygen one breath at a time. So God in his, in his greatness, in his omnipotence, in his splendor, in his majesty, he knows how and he knew how to perfectly compose oxygen for us so that it would not be a threat to us. Um, you know, some people don't know that yet because they'll be using oxygen and smoking a cigarette and blow themselves up. But that's another lesson for another day. But God bless you. Praise God. Why? Because he is worthy of our praise. And don't focus on your enemies, the problems, the place or the predicaments or the pain. God is worthy. His will for you is good. And not even you have God's presence, not just his positions, not just his representatives. You have God himself. He is with you. He is in you. He is for you. So who could be against you? God is greater. Give him praise. God bless you. Show this video along with the other video. They go together. We don't want to disseminate wrong information. Amen. We bind the spirit of lies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Yolanda Burroughs.